Hello, hello. Today's Manchester United news and transfer news includes a shockingly low bid for two of our players, Jaden Sancho update, more interest in Mason Greenwood, manager talk and a move for a top Premier League midfielder and at the end, a hilarious report coming out of Spain that you're going to want to hear. So stay tuned for all the details and let's get straight into it. So let's start with all the manager news because it's been going off the last couple of days. So firstly, if you haven't if you're not aware, right, the over the weekend, Mike Keegan from the Mail and Matt Lawton, Lawson from the Time both released a story saying that there was a meeting in Monaco last Tuesday between Thomas Tuchel and Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Tuchel revealed his plans if he were to take over Manchester United manager Tuchel explained to Ratcliffe that he could get United sporting problems. Um, like Jaden Sancho and Mason Mount back on track. And then he mentioned his time with um, Rudiger. So that initially kicked everything off. And then as you can imagine, with that story coming out, social media went absolutely off it with stories of Ten Hag's about to be sacked and Thomas Tuchel was coming out. And then literally with like an hour later, Fabrizio Romano came out with an absolute Moab where he said Thomas Tuchel was not planning to take the, Man- um, not planning to take the Manchester United job. He wants to take a break not coaching any club um, this summer. Tuchel has decided not to continue in talks with United. So within the space of an hour or or, um, a couple of hours over the weekend, we had stories saying that Thomas Tuchel had held talks with Sir Jim Ratcliffe, which sent everyone into a frenzy. And then Fabrizio Romano come out and said, yeah, nah, Thomas Tuchel's not going to take the job. The second news that come out... um, was from the Times where they said Thomas Tuchel left the meeting with Sir Jim Ratcliffe with the sense that he was not going to be Manchester United's choice should they dismiss Eric Ten Hag and is now elected to have a break from management. So that came out from the Time Sport. And then Matt Lawson, who, if we look back on this one, was one of the same people that broke the story about Sir Jim Ratcliffe having talks with Thomas Tuchel, also then come out and then linked us with De Zerbe, strangely enough. Um... And then Graham Bailey's topped it all off by saying Sir Alex Ferguson is pressing for Mauricio Pochettino to be new Manchester United manager and has also come out to say Manchester United have uh, been in contact with Roberto's De Zerbi camp. So that's coming from the same outlet with two different stories. Ultimately, my general feeling on the whole manager situation, it is an absolute shit show that this has been allowed to drag on for the length of time that it has. I genuinely feel actually quite sorry for Eric Ten Hag that he's being dragged through the mud like this. I do not understand what is taking so long to make a decision. I kind of think that the the longer it's going on, obviously Toot was out of the running now. Um, they did want um, Kieran McKenna. He signed a new contract at Ipswich. The further and further we're going down the list of candidates and the fact that you cannot make a decision just suggests to me that you're not making the right decision. Like It just seems to me that they want to get rid of the manager just for the sake of getting rid of the manager. There doesn't seem to be like an obvious candidate or an obvious person that's out there that like, if they went for, I don't know if they went for Klopp and they were like, right, we want to play this style of football. So we need to go and get Jurgen Klopp because he's the best manager available to play that style of football. Then I could kind of, it, it would make sense. Obviously Klopp's an extreme example. He's not going to come to United, but the fact that they're just chopping and changing from different managers and different all of different skill sets just suggest to me that they do not know what they're doing and that why make a decision as big as that just for the sake of making the decision. Going back to the media, though, the fact that we had the same people basically giving out conflicting stories just shows to me that nobody knows what's going on with the manager. And you're also obviously reviewing it. I don't think they know themselves what's going on with the manager. It's a shit show. I just wish they would just hurry up and make a freaking decision because it is absolutely driving, I think, me and probably use insane. Let's move on to some transfer talk, though. Let's start with outgoing. So we know this summer that um, a lot of our summer is going to be dictated by player sales. So there's been some interesting updates. And I brought you a story before um, the last couple of videos that I've done, one about interest from Juan Bissaka from um, Galatasaray. And then also yesterday's news they were saying that they were linked with Scott McTominay, but there wasn't any fees or prices um, mentioned for Scott McTominay. So this report's come out now um, from Galatasaray saying that they've made a £25 million euro offer to sign Aaron Wambasaka and Scott McTominay in a double deal, which I found 
almost insulting. Like I, I don't think they're you know 100 million pounds worth of player each um, players, but 25 million euros for both of them, way too low. Maybe 40, 20 million euros each. I could maybe get behind, although I still think that's a a bargain for Galatasaray. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. And then this top story on here came from Simon Stone, where. Um, who's a BBC journalist, was saying that Manchester United have put a £40 million price tag on Jadon Sancho. United will look to sell Sancho this summer, no matter who the manager is, which was music to my ears. I don't want to see Sancho stay regardless of whether we get rid of Ten Hag or not. Player power's rife in the club. You cannot have a player that refuses to play for three or four months, just walk back into the team when their manager goes. It sets the absolutely the wrong standards and i'm not here for that so um and 40 million quid is probably about fair i think for jade and sancho and then the um other news report is about greenwood where fanabache have inquired to manchester united about mason greenwood at the request of jose Mourinho. jose Mourinho's obviously managed greenwood when he or, or was here when greenwood um was at the club so knows a little bit about him so that's an interesting option for for Mason Greenwood. No talk about the price or the fee that they would want to pay, but it is another option if we're looking to move on Greenwood, which we know we are. The, he's more likely to be sold than stay at the moment. So um, again, it's just another another doorway for Mason Greenwood to potentially go, and then hopefully we can use some of that money to go towards signing players, which need, leads me nicely onto the incomings. So Two main reports coming out of today. So the first one, Manchester United, Barcelona and Bayern Munich are all interested in Fulham's midfielder, Jao Polina. Fulham value him at double the £30 million bid they rejected from Bayern. That's coming from Sky Sports Cave. Now, effectively what's happened here is um, apparently Bayern Munich, who, if you remember rightly, were interested in Paulinia last summer, very close to getting him, but I think it fell through at the last minute. And then there was talk that Bayern were potentially going to get McTominay or Fulham were going to get McTominay to replace Paulinia. And it all fell apart at the end of the transfer window. So apparently Bayern Munich have now offered £30 million for Paulinia, which has been rejected by Fulham. And they value him at double, £60 million. I mean, Paulinia is a good player. Um... I think at 28 years old, £60 million is a little bit steep. As, as good as a player as he is, I think he'd be fantastic in our midfield, but not for £60 million. So I would give that one a wide berth if it was me personally at that price. If you can get him for 30 or 35 yeah, definitely. Definitely I would be looking at doing that, but not for £60 million. Let me know what you think, though, in the comments. Um, and then also Chelsea are ahead of Manchester United in the race to sign Michael Elise as they have a more settled managerial situation. That was coming from Fabrizio Romano. It's getting quite worrying, actually, about Michael Elise. The more stories that I'm reading are that Chelsea are aggressively pushing for him and could be in a much better position to get him, considering that United, one, don't know who the manager is, um, but then also, secondly, um, are having to rely on sales for that position and with no real movement. Yeah, we've got some interest and stories coming out about Greenwood. There's not really been much interest in Sancho. Um, and my understanding is that we have to get rid of both of those in order to move on. So um, could be one that we miss out on. Could be one that we miss out on. The rumour is, though, Manchester United could go for Desiree Douay if they don't get Michael Elise. Now, Douay... I think it's an absolutely unreal, um, unreal talent and potential player. Um, I don't actually know if that would be like a bad deal anyway. I, th I think obviously Elise is top class and can come in straight away. But Desiree Dewey, I think, has got, I mean, he's got future Ballon d'Or written all over him. He's that good, honestly. Um, go check him out if you haven't seen him. He's an unreal young player. And then finally, in what is probably, I'm going to describe as one of the most hilarious transfer rumours that I think I've ever read regards Kobe Mainu. So this comes out from um, Spanish outlets saying that Barcelona manager Hansi Flick wants to build his midfield around Manchester United midfielder Kobe Mainu. Okay, fair enough. I would want to do that too. And the La Liga side have offered £8.5 million pounds plus winger Rafina in a swap deal for the England international. Now, I absolutely pissed myself with laughter when I read this story. So not only, according to that report, does Barcelona want to sign Menu, they think he's he's worth 8.5 million plus Rafina. Like, 
yeah, I just thought I'd bring that in for for a bit of a giggle at the end. Like, that's got to be one of the worst transfer stories I think I've ever heard. Um, but let me know what you think about that in the comments or smash the like if you agree. Now, um, so there was a rundown of all of some of today's Man United headlines. Um, don't forget to smash us a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I enjoy reading them. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.